I recently saw this post by Mikey Doodle, which is a cool split tile system he made in C40, and I wanted to try and replicate it using a blender shader. It looks like everything works by splitting a cube in two several times randomly with a seed evolving over time. Let's use generated coordinates, which spans from 0 to 1 on each axis. To do a random cut on a given axis, we'll use the math greater than node with a threshold coming from a noise texture. For the seed, we can use a color to be able to assign a different seed to each new cut. Let's change the distribution of the noise with a float curve to prevent the cut from happening too close to the edges. And animate the cut with a combined HSV node that evolves over time. We now already have the basis for the whole shader. Now we can create two new seed values in each region for the next cuts. Using the previous value as the mix factor, put the noise color on one side and let's say an inverted version on the other side. We could also use another noise for more control. Now we have a moving cut with two random seed values on each side. Let's tidy up everything and frame this section. Group this, rename the input and output and change this group a few times to generate more cuts. The issues we have here is that the cut direction does not change on each iteration and every cut are sampled all over the cube instead of on each side of the previous cut. For the first problem, we need to count the cut numbers and change the direction accordingly. Let's add a new parameter and increment it by 1. Then we will take this value and use it to switch between the three axes. Let's create a mix node with three inputs. We can now mix using the two factors. Now we need to convert our iteration count to either 0, 0, 0, 1 or 1, 0. That's a binary conversion modulo 3. So we'll take the iteration count modulo 3 to have it only output 0 to 2. And then return the binary value using the modulo operator and computing the remainder. We just need to swap a value inside the mix node and it works as expected. Now we can plug it inside our machine to swap between X, Y and Z. Tidy up everything. And we have alternating cut directions. Now we need to adjust the coordinates of each region to have values between 0 and 1. For that, we need to adjust the values to slide depending on the cut position. Which can be easily done with a node group using map range and mixing the two values together using our greater than node from before. Now we can do that on each axis. And combine the result of this remapping with the undisturbed other axis. Finally, combine everything depending on our cut direction with our 3 mixer node. And here we have everything remapped correctly and moving accordingly. Let's add a few more cuts.
adjust the noise settings to your liking, so now it feels pretty organic. Let's give this a material, plug the final coordinates into a noise texture, and sample some pretty colors. We can disturb everything with another noise texture in a different coordinate system to break the repetitions, and higher frequency noise to give it a more granular look. Finally, because everything works by sampling cuts between the coordinates 0 and N1 of each axis, you can easily get more cuts by scaling the coordinates and getting the fraction to get domain repetitions. Using this method of getting the fraction part, it can easily work in any coordinate system. And here we have our final node group. Thank you for watching, hope you will be able to make cool things with it, let me know what you want to see next.